Hi, Redeemer. We're back in Isaiah, chapter 40 still, verses 27 through 31. Here God asks the question of Israel. He asks the question to people under duress and stress, His people, who are sort of asking themselves, does God care? Is, is He here? Is he, does He know what's going on? So when God asks the question, we ought to pay attention uh, to what He's really driving at. So this is the question God asked, verse 27. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, and my right hand is disregarded by my God? Have you not known, have you not heard, the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth? So Israel in captivity says what all believers say generally when they're suffering. God can't see me. He must not be looking. Um, he doesn't know, or maybe he doesn't care that I'm suffering. And it looks like a lot of injustice is going unaccounted for. Will anybody do anything about it? Those are the kind of questions people have been asking of God for a long time. And he asks back, you know, why would you say something like that? The reminder comes that the eternal God outlives all injustice. He sees the end of injustice and suffering because he knows its end and he will cause its end. He's the victorious king. And since he's the creator, he knows his creation perfectly. So he knows you and I just perfectly. Where we are, what's happening to us, how it's all going to end, and what we need at the time. He knows all about our pain and suffering and sorrow. Never forget that. And be careful about asking that question of God. He says, he does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint, and to him who has no might, he increases strength. Even youths shall faint and be weary, and young men shall fall exhausted. So is God asleep? Is he distracted? No. Does he ever grow tired of us? No. He knows what's going on. He knows how this pandemic started. He knows when it's going to end, how it's going to end. He knows who's going to die from it. He knows all about this because God is in charge. And he's not ignoring anybody on this planet. You know, he's awake. He's ready. He gives power to the faint. If you feel weak, you may feel weaker yet, but God gives strength. And then it goes like this, verse 31. But they who wait for the Lord... They who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Can you wait for the Lord, Redeemer? Can you cease from solving problems alone without Him? Will you try to practice resting in Him, waiting for Him? You know, it's a matter of stopping, calming yourself. Arming yourself with Scripture, reading Scripture, memorizing Scripture, meditating on that. Review how good God has been to you, to your family, and to Redeemer. God's ways are unsearchable. We know that. They're hard to find out. They're hard to understand now. But don't focus on what we don't know, but focus on what we do know, which is our eternal God, who is our Creator, loves us. He's awake. He's paying attention. He knows everything. Are you hesitant to pray when you're suffering? Well, do it. Do it anyway. Talk to God. Make yourself do it. Tell Him your fears and your weaknesses. And know that when you don't know everything that's going on, you're coming to a Savior who gives strength to His children. When they're weak especially, He gets all of the glory. He's a God of grace and is happy to do that. So pray, Redeemer. Pray. Keep trusting Him. Wait on the Lord.